Hey, what's up, man? <laughs> um, I hope y'all checked out that um the Terrence Crawford versus uh Thomas Delorme fight. Um, you know, like like I said, you know, in the um uh the pre fight video, yeah, you know, I did that at the like the last minute, almost like uh tw- twelve hours like before the fight. I just wanted to get my uh, thoughts on the fight, and then what had uh what I did uh. You know, check out the video, man. It's uh three major fights. And I dated uh, uh was April uh eighteenth, two thousand fifteen. And uh if you listen to this, it's uh April uh nineteenth, you know, the day after. Um I I had mentioned that Terrence Crawford was gonna uh beat Thomas Delorme. And what I had mentioned was, uh, you know, especially the fights that were going on that night, that this was uh, going to end in a knockout, you know. Um, and then that, that Ruslan Provotnikov versus Luka Matisse fight, that wasn't even going to end in a knockout. And no, it didn't, man. It went all 12 rounds. I don't, I don't mention that in another video, but I just want to... Um, then then, then the, the Chavez fight, you know, he, he got hurt. Versus this fight versus from far, but anyway, in this fight, I had mentioned that Terrence Crawford, you know, he he was gonna uh, knock out Thomas Delorme, and that was all based off of I I don't think I mentioned it in the other video. That was pretty much based off the fact that to me Thomas Delorme lost versus Hammer and Hank Lundy. Now what happened is uh Hammer Hank Lundy got knocked down in the early rounds, you know. Um uh, that 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 messed him up. I I think cuz it was it, he got a split decision and I really feel as if that if that knockdown didn't happen um he, he would have uh won because you know it's all about perception and it, it looked like he was getting beat up and you know, that knockdown was like, you know, when when you get a knockdown um, it, it takes a lot to get that out of the judge's mind that oh, uh, maybe that's just like a flash knockdown. Um, uh, and it it pretty much looks like you're surviving <laughs> after that, you know. And, and sometimes that's the case in the round, but the the round afterwards, you looked as the um, you know the um, the wink link. You know what I'm saying? You look at you're not number you no longer number one. You number two. And so number two has to prove that they're number one, and they're, they're dictating everything that's going on in the fight. You get what I'm saying? So you're not to perceive the favorite. So anyway, um, in that fight, Thomas Delorme couldn't handle pressure, and I know it was about what you know. A lot of people have uh, pointed out on the uh, in the white in the YTBC and the YouTube boxing community on like several channels. Um, uh, you know, there's, there's many channels out there, I'm I'm not gonna, uh, name them all, um, is that Terrence Crawford, um, you know, uses that jab, and he, he, he comes forward, he can count and punch, he's a switch hitter, uh, that means he can go in the southpaw stance, he can fight just as good, just as good, if not better, Matter of fact, he was in the southpaw stance when he knocked out Yuri Oka's Gamboa. Uh, uh, if I'm not mistaken, an uh, Olympic gold medalist. <laughs> so, um, you know, he just got every tool in the toolbox. And he has the, um, what Teddy Atlas would say is, uh, he, he's like the complete fighter. Right? And I'm gonna mention this in another video because I'm gonna make a video on Terrence Crawford, you know. But I just want this comment of just Terrence and this Delorme in this fight, right? And so in, in this fight, you know, it starts off, you know, I, I don't know, man. I, I, I watched this with my uh, uh, uncle, and I just noticed that not only my uncle, uh, but Letterman, the uh, ringside, you know, the the press. Uh, one of the press judges, you know, he's not a real judge. He's just, uh, he's just Letterman. He, you know, he, he scores the fight for, you know, HBO, you know, gives his opinions and stuff like that. He's not an official judge. He just, uh, does that, I guess, you know, 
So I guess so the commentators just uh, do their color commentating instead of just focus on scoring the fight. You know, this uh, they just score that. You know, just talk about the action. You know, make their comments and stuff like that. And Latimer and uh, my uncle. You know, when I was watching this fight, it's gonna say like, "Oh, Thomas Delorme won." You know, the first two rounds. I'm like, "What the hell, heck are you guys looking at?" You know what I'm saying? I was like, "No, he didn't." I'm like, no way, man. He didn't win those first two rounds. And I, I don't, it, you know, and I say that because Delorme looked tense. And, and he, he's, you know, he came out like shooting that jab, making all that noise, like. Sss, 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 sss. I was like, you know, he's just like making noise. I was like, what are you talking about? He's just making noise, you know what I'm saying? You know, Terrence Crawford, he's like this, you know, he's he's nonchalant, man. Terrence Crawford's confidence is high, man. He's just like nonchalant. And, you know, he's throwing his jab and stuff like that. And, you know, they're throwing their punches. And to me, to me, in my mind, he's controlling the action. He's number one. On Box Rec, on Box Rec, the day before the fight, he didn't even fight at that division of 140. He's ranked over Danny Garcia, which is probably rightly, right, rightfully so, because Danny Garcia didn't even defend his belt at 140 uh, in the past two fights. So uh, he, he <laughs> I don't know how they let him. You know, may, maybe he is paying some kind of section or fee or something like that to hold on to the belts or something, because he's 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 not defending them. So, but anyway, and, and then, then Terrence Crawford, you know, from my understanding, beat, uh, you know, not only Mikey Garcia, but uh, Danny Garcia, too, in the amateurs. So, maybe that has something to do with, do with it. But this is the pro ranks. But anyway, the um, the powers that be, that, that are, you know, that be at Box Rec, you know, all the writers, I guess, you know, folded him as number one, you know, you know, and they got writers all over the darn world, so. Anyway, he he was relaxed. In the third round, you know, he came on. And then in the fourth, he's shaking his head. He's kind of like laughing and stuff like that. You know, to, to, after that fourth round, you, you could tell that Terrence Crawford starts picking it up. And then it got to the point where one, you know, in one round, right, he's like, he's like taunting Thomas DeLorme when he comes forward. DeLorme is like backing up, man. Delorme didn't even uh, stand his ground, and that, and I was like, and I was telling my uncle, I was like, see, he was like, there you go, man. I was like, yeah, I know you gotta, I, I know you watching these fights with me. You gotta pay attention because this dude's dude, this dude's backing up. He, the same thing happened in the uh, Hank Lundy fight. You know what I'm saying? He he backing up. You know he don't like pressure, and then uh, in Crawford, he showed you uh, with Ray Brett Beltran, he can stand his ground. You know he can he can counter punch, and not only that he can walk you down. He, and then every time he, he gets touched, he, he he's ready to go on the firefight. So he he's got a lot of fight in him. You know it's, he he's, he's like he's not a punk. You know if anything he's gonna punk you. And if you try to test him, he's he's firing back. All right. And then if he's uh, needs to back up, he's he's more or less circling you. Not back, backing up to the ropes and stuff like that, hanging off for dear life. He's not doing an American or nothing like that, you know. So um, anyway, it, it gets to the point where he starts pumping up that, pumping that jab, and he's landing it real good on Thomas Delorme, right? So we get into the six, and before you know it, bam! That right hand. Drops Thomas Delorme and I'm like, yeah, like, see, I told you so. I told you, like, look, like, what are you talking about? You know, this dude Thomas Delorme ain't that. You know, my uncle's like, I like both of the dudes. I like, nah, nah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he got real. You know, you gotta recognize talent when you see it, and just let bygones be bygones and let this man have his shine and stuff like that. You know. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm not going to sit here and give Thomas Delorme all these rounds and stuff like that. I'm looking at Terrence Crawford pumping his jam, controlling the action, and Del- Delorme, you know, he, he you know, he looked like he fighting for life and death. You know, I'm like, uh, I know who, who the champion is. It's like, it's Terrence Crawford. This is Terrence Crawford's coming out party. So, it, for me, 
it was all Terrence Crawford, man. Terrence Crawford set Lorme up. Uh, Thomas DeLorme, like I said in the uh, other video, three major uh, fights. That Thomas DeLorme is, um, he, he doesn't have the goods. For one, he, he if you pressure him, but you know, you put the pressure on Thomas DeLorme, he, he he's going to crack like an egg, man. He's going to bust wide open. Yeah, I mean, he's not going to bust like pipes. And pipes, you need some real pressure to bust pipes. But you don't need that much pressure to bust no egg. And that's exactly what happened. Crawford didn't even pressure him that much. And before you know it, bam, he's he's out. Let's go, let's go back and look at the fight. He just set him up. And Crawford, Crawford just set him up. You know, and then you know, was, and, th- and then Crawford's uh, got more skills than Thomas Delorme. Can Thomas Delorme do something at uh, one forty? Yeah, it's a lot of fights he can fight. He can fight Amir Man, Antonio DiMarco, uh, Jose Benavides. Um, that's a young fighter right there. You know, he can fight him. And Thomas Delorme only like what twenty five, you know he 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 can do something. You know maybe maybe when he gets thirty, uh, Terence Crawford be uh, out of that division, be at one uh, forty seven. But you know um, Thomas Delorme came down from one forty seven to fight at one forty. So I really don't know what he gonna do um, for a guy that doesn't like uh, pressure at all. You have a lot of good fighters out here. You know uh, even season. Veterans like Humberto Soto, um, that's no easy fight because Humberto Soto don't lay down for nobody. And he, he could box. He can lay hands on you and take your punch. So at 140, you got Mauricio Herrera. You got Ruslan Pavagnikov, uh, who just who just lost. I, I'm going to make a comment on that fight. Uh, Victor Postal, I haven't seen much of him. Jesse Vargas. Lucas Mencice, Danny Garcia, Terrence Crawford uh, is now a number one, and a, a few other guys. Um, but yeah, the talent pool is deep. Thomas Delorme is gonna have to uh, he he's gonna have to learn some defense or something. He he's 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 gonna have to go to another camp and maybe fight some fighters that like like the apply a lot of pressure so he can handle handle that situation there. But yeah, Terrence Crawford, the illest brother coming out of Nebraska. Uh like uh, like or subscribe. You know, sh- share the video. But uh yeah, leave a comment man. Who y'all think uh Terrence Crawford should fight next? Uh, I don't know who she, who he should fight next. I I, I would like uh, Danny Garcia but I don't think Danny Garcia is gonna make that weight class. Um anymore at 140 and for me i would like um i would like to see lucas matisse i I don't think lucas i mean lucas matisse got the power but um you know he's not the greatest boxer but yeah man lucas matisse why why not lucas matisse uh who who, who you guys got man all right let me know what's up bye